What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to unlock the new Carve 2 tactical rifle from Cold War in Warzone specifically. I know a lot of you out there are free to play and do not own Cold War or have access to the full version of the game. So you do not have the access to multiplayer, of course, which is usually the easiest way to complete these challenges. But rest assured, you're going to be able to do this in Warzone. It is gonna be a bit of a challenge, however. So today, we're gonna to be talking about, of course, some tricks and tips on how to unlock this. Go over exactly what the challenge is to unlock this, as well as I will be sharing with you guys the best loadout, or at least my favorite loadout to go into the war zone with in order to complete this challenge the easiest way. But before we jump into the rest of the video, if you do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure to show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys wanna find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button alongside that notification bell so you don't miss dude future videos. All right, so like I said, we are gonna be talking about how to unlock this weapon here. So first and foremost, we need to know what that challenge is going to be in order to complete it. So if you guys go to edit your loadout, you guys scroll over to the tactical rifles, not the marksman rifles, the tactical rifles specifically, because these are all from Cold War. And you scroll all the way down to the bottom, tactical rifle echo is gonna read the following, and this is the Carve 2. All right, so to unlock the Carve 2, we're gonna be using tactical rifles to rapidly kill two or more players in 10 different matches. So basically you just have to get double kills or better in 10 different matches and obviously it's going to be a little bit of a pain but I can tell you right now there are some tips and tricks we can jump into right away. Now my first recommendation to you typically with these weapon challenges is to jump into plunder and the reason I recommend plunder even though other game modes will work as well is because it does give you quite a bit of time depending on the length of the matches. I had some really long plunder matches it gives you just a ton of time to be able to get these challenges done so that kind of you know eliminates the amount of matches you might actually have to do because maybe not every match you're going to be able to you know, tally up one on the progress bar so essentially jump into plunder and my favorite place in the most active place i can find at least so far is going to be storage so make sure you guys go down to storage doesn't matter how many times you die all you got to do is get a double kill or better like i said so land over there by storage it's going to be pretty popping I usually use it for most of the different challenges throughout the seasons and I've had great success there getting way more you know kills or way more of the challenge that I need. Obviously you can only complete this once per match and you do obviously have to do that again in 10 different matches. So most importantly when you're doing these challenges and I cannot I cannot warn you guys enough because people have so many issues in my comment section with their challenges not unlocking their weapon, the challenge is resetting and I just don't want you guys to have to go through all that. So my biggest thing that I can tell you guys is essentially do not quit your matches. Any of them. Absolutely do not do it. Make sure if you get your double kill, you just run through the rest of the match. Maybe you try to finish it up quicker. But make sure you do not leave your matches because that will cause the bug to happen in which even if you complete the challenge, sometimes you'll restart your game and it will absolutely wipe you out. You guys don't want to have to do this challenge a billion times. You guys are going to want to get your weapon as soon as possible fastest way you can do that is by making sure you're completing all of your matches all right so obviously you guys know to land storage now you guys know exactly what the challenge is you guys know to complete all of your matches so let's go ahead and jump into the loadout that i'm recommending for you guys in order to complete this the easiest way Alrighty, so if you guys are familiar with the m16 you're going to be in the right place and hopefully you guys have this leveled up so for the muzzle i'm running that agency suppressor helping us with sound suppression vertical recoil control bullet velocity effective damage range as well for the barrel we're using the 15.9 inch strike team obviously the m16 has gotten a nerf but it is still very effective so i obviously did that to increase fire rate and aim walking movement speed alongside with our optic we have the axle arms three times which is my favorite site to run on this because it allows you to do pretty well at range. And you're gonna to wanna to be able to do that. You're just gonna to have to try to take out quite a few people. You are hunting for the double kills or better. So this is gonna be a good way to do it. Ammunition, it's an AG 60 round. You're gonna to wanna to run the biggest magazine, but not the fast version because it doesn't provide enough benefit to make it worth it. The last attachment we have is the under barrel. We have the field agent grip. This is obviously gonna help us with horizontal and vertical recoil control. We wanna be as accurate as possible so that we can take those people out and we don't have to struggle through this challenge for too long. So like I said, this is the loadout that I highly recommend for you guys to go out there and complete this the easiest way. You guys are more than welcome to use any other tactical rifle if you prefer, but just make sure you are using a tactical rifle. You don't wanna go through trying to complete your challenge, finding out you're not using the right weapon. Just make sure you guys are using the correct weapon. Make sure you guys are going out there and staying through your matches. 
this will bug for some people you guys are gonna have issues just bear with it i promise you you guys will get it completed there's just not much you can do there's been tons of seasons even with modern warfare to now and there's just been endless bugs with all of the different weapon challenges so if you guys are having issues just know that it will get fixed and hopefully this video with these tips will help you guys complete this the easiest possible way so I do want to include that because this is a challenge where you do need just a simple double kill or better, an easy way to complete this as well is to go into duos if there's a duos mode or just BR duos in general. Down one of the players, maybe you're you know capable of doing that. Allow the other guy to try to heal him or at least try to eliminate that second player. You'll get the team wipe. You'll get the double kill. As long as you leave a guy on the ground when you get your, your you know the team wipe, you're gonna get your your multi kill. So remember, if you down people, try not to full kill them. It was a little bit challenging for me not to do that out of habit. But I was able to down people, and then obviously if you were able to eliminate the last player of the team, you're going to get a double kill, triple kill, or better, and it's going to count for your challenge. I think that's all I can do for you guys here. Hopefully these little tips and tricks and this loadout will help you guys along the way and make this challenge as easy as possible. And I wish you guys the best of luck unlocking the carve too. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys all for tuning into today's video. Hopefully this helps you out enough. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.